Modern life. Fast, effective, painful. The price of keeping up is daily aches and pains. Do we take this lying down or consider the options? Some say traditional and alternative medicines hold promise, even if treatments are a little unconventional. Are they answers to our pain? Join me, Derek Sue, medical doctor and guinea pig, in Find Me a Cure. This week, lethargy versus osteopathy, traditional Chinese and Ayurvedic medicines. You know the drill. Get up, wash, breakfast, leave the house, go to work, coffee, check emails, send emails, do some work, type reports, go for meeting, coffee, check emails, send emails, surf, talk, meet, report. Lunch. Cue, order, find, see, eat, drink, back to work, check, send emails, report, meet, talk, call. And by tea time, you start to slow down. Hi, Dr. Derek Sue here. Are you finding it difficult to keep up with the world around you? Are you feeling tired, uninspired, perhaps a loss of mojo? Oh, where was I? That's right. Well, that's lethargy. And according to Western science, that's an indication of a range of problems, both small and large. Acute fatigue uh, can occur after uh, a lousy sleep overnight or over exertion physically. It can be due to jet lag or uh, acute systemic illnesses. However, acute fatigue most of the time will recover once the underlying cause settled down. In medical terminology, acute means fast or sudden. It comes and goes quickly like the life you lead on the fast lane. The wild night, then you get this kind of syndrome. Probably after lunch, I would feel a little bit more sleepy. After lunch, usually metabolism slows down a little bit and I get a little bit more tired and groggy. If your lunch is too heavy, then normally you feel very tired. The more you eat, the more sleepy you get. You just got to endure and finish off whatever that you're doing. Go back and <laughs> sleep more. Yeah, and do some exercise um, occasionally. Yeah. Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee normally is the thing that keeps me awake. A caffeine. Two cups a day, exercise during the week. Stand up and walk around the office a couple of times. It's only when the acute fatigue persists and progress that is when we're worried. Alternative practitioners can't agree more. But usually if you're having bowel symptoms, you must see a doctor first. This man is an osteopath. He prods for answers. Looking at your life in a more holistic way and trying to balance it wherever you can. The body belongs to DJ, our lethargy candidate. <laughs> Dingjie, or DJ, is a researcher who works in the city. He keeps up with the pace until around tea time. 3 p.m. By about 3 p.m. I feel very tired. I have no energy to focus on my work. As early as 7 p.m. I just feel as though I can't do, I can't focus on anything at all. I just want to sleep, but I'm still too awake too. But my body feels as though it wants to switch off. When I lie down, I can't get to sleep. Until 3 in the morning and then? Until 3 in the morning. Okay. What are you, th are you thinking? Is, is your mind going over? No, it's not going over anything because I, I finished my, I, I'm quite a disciplined person in terms of I, I set goals on what I want to do every day and I always meet them. Okay. Are you any more stressed recently than usual? Yes, I've had more work to do recently, more reports to write and more things to check on for my work. Jose's heard the same story before. His clinic is in the district of Overdrive. They're running themselves into a point where the nervous system, like the brain basically, is on hyperdrive. Hmm. Okay, you're like